If you if you would look right, if you were able for the indication in the pledge, please. Precious Lord and Heavenly Father, we do thank you for this beautiful day and for the privilege of living in your world and bringing us to this time and to this place. We would ask your blessing upon our meeting today, Lord. May every thought, word, and deed be acceptable in thy sight. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. So, what it be? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible. Liberty and justice for all. Well, good morning. It's such a, it's an awfully nice day out there. We're glad you took time out to come up and be with us. The first item we have is uh, Joe, Joanne Snor and she not with us. I don't see her. She working. She told me she had something she wanted to say. Oh, the center page is it's out. And there's probably some on her table over in the York Christ lobby. That, that's, uh, that's the only thing she had. Betty is not with us again today. Betty is on her... Is that microphone on? We're not hearing you. We're not hearing yeah. you. Yeah. It's on. Yeah. Well, now you can yeah. Turn okay. okay. I'll try. Okay. <laughs> uh, Betty is on her phone at Nightingale duty, and uh, hopefully it's going well. But we have the minutes that was sent out. Jeff's ready with at least one correction. How many you got? Just the one. Just the one. On the treasurer's report, uh, after Gary Ingram, I put in Snar last name, and she caught that and noticed that, so we're going to remove it. Other than that, they looked did all you put it in or did I put it in? I don't remember whether I took it in, put it in, or you put it in, well, but it's there, so we're going to take it out. You can yell at us, so we will. It isn't Jerry Ingram Snar. They didn't get married. <laughs> that I know of. <laughs> that we know of, yeah. We know of. All right, are there any other additions or corrections or objections? Could we have a motion to approve the minutes, please? Second. All right, all those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Thank you. All right, treasurer's report. Well, the month of June has no activity. There were uh, no deposits and no uh, checks written, so our uh, bank statement from the bank says $1,103.41. And I do have some money undeposited that came from Walter Frank, and that was $40.30. So all in all, we have $1,000, 143.71. <coughs> Thank you, Mary. Any questions? Concerns? Are we spending any money? We're going to. We're going to. You just hang on a little bit. We we'll need you for, for for a motion, right? Do you want to be the first one to move to spend money? We we did in April for the party. I just wondered how many people have paid their contribution. Sixty. Uh, Sixty-eight people have paid out of a hundred. Forty or so in the villas. So there's still a lot of people who don't realize that they should pay. And, and that is not outside the norm. Actually, it may be pretty good. I would say that's pretty close to what we usually do. Yeah, it's, it's right in the range that we need. Could, could we have a motion to approve the treasurer's report? Awesome. No All right, we have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Opposed? Thank you. All right, we now have a Sunshine Committee chair. All right, Joanne Pham, re enlisted. Uh, this month I send out Mom to Get Well. 
card, two thinking of you cards, and one sympathy card. And uh, normally I don't say anything about sympathy, but I think you all might like to send a card to jo Joanne and Raleigh Wilson. Her twin sister died. So they'll be traveling down to, is it Virginia? Virginia. And that's going to be tough over the phone. Thank you. Call me if you know somebody. Thank you, Joanne. Betty not with us. Uh, Betty calling. So we don't have a older Frank. Welcome, Peggy. Maybe she's not going to be here. I, I will be here. Okay. You're going to take care of her? All right. We'll wait on David to take care of that. Well, we didn't have our normal happening. I didn't look out there, but I didn't see a sign-up sheet for the men tomorrow. Do you know that they are going tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, did they fill it up? They must there was have filled, a sheet out there. They must have filled was it, it out. Was it out there? Yeah, it was out there. They're going to Harrison's, I believe. Harrison's? All right. Yeah, Ron, Ron's going to drive that tomorrow. Where are we at? Who is? Ron. Ron. Um, group off campus lunch. Anybody know about that? July 10th, still on for 10th? Yeah. Tell us about it. What's happening then? The group off campus lunch? I don't know a thing except that today is normally scheduled. Mm. I don't know, I don't know where they're going. Beer, 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 pizza. Pardon? Beer, beer, pizza. All right. There's another one at the end of the month because there's 14 Wednesdays this month. There's going, they're going to Dirt Dust, I believe. Plain City? Yep. Okay, the, the group off campus or the ladies? I don't know where the ladies are going, but the, the group is, the first group is going to. Oh, okay. Beer, you got Beer Barrel, and the second time they're going this month is uh third that's the 31st then yeah there's five there's five the wednesday yeah, yeah, i missed that i said there's four i missed that <laughs> I, I don't know whether i can be recalled or what's he what's he called all right then the fairfield trip is out there i suspect they're going the third Third Wednesday. Hey, we know where the ladies are going. Hey, that Fairfield trip. That Fairfield trip. We need at least five people to sign up for that. Okay. For us to make that trip to Beaver Creek. David needs at least five people to make the trip. Pam, do you know where the girls are going? I do. We're going to the Redberry in Troy. The what? Redberry. One word. Red is lowercase. Berry is uppercase. Detroit. And I, I have a comment about removing the list just because the list gets full and some, somebody will take it. And the problem with that is, if, if at least for the ladies, if somebody wants to cross their name off, then it is, there's a spot available for someone else. So if they just snatch the list, you know, a couple of days ahead of time, then it, it doesn't give anybody else an opportunity to go. So it would be helpful if they just left it on the table and let the driver pick it up. Do you know who's taking it? Have no idea. Nobody will admit to taking it. Let's put that way. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll check with the drivers and make sure it's no, not the drivers. No, well, it isn't any drivers. It's not the have. drivers? No. No. If the, when they have picked it up, it's because it's been on the table. It, whoever takes it must put it back. I, that's the only thing I can figure out. I don't know. We'll put a note in with the minutes to hopefully Hopefully somebody will see that. Thank you. Chances are they won't. That's okay. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. All right. David. Yes. Yes. Morningstar Lodge is offering a pancake breakfast on the 29th at 9 o'clock. Pancakes, sausage, coffee, orange juice, and please, it's free and no donations. No, 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 it's fine. Everybody come. Is it breakfast. What? At the, the clubhouse. What's the time? 9 to 11. 9 to 11. Yeah, I thought they were going to change it, but they didn't decide no. to change it. Yep. Yeah, there was a problem with time last time, wasn't there? Uh, I think some people thought it was a little bit late. And I thought they were going to change it, but when they had the meeting, they did not change it. All right, thank you, Bill. Yeah. 
So uh, um, I'll go over some of the new move-ins. Um, these, these two have just happened yesterday. So I don't know if you've seen the moving trucks or the people that have been moving in there. But first is 1D. Uh, I don't see him here. His name is Pete Johnson. I believe his first name is George, but he goes by Pete. Uh, he did move in yesterday. So uh, welcome, Pete, when you see him. Uh, next is 20D. Betty's not here, is she? So she lives next to... Uh, Cindy and John Whitaker. Cindy and John Whitaker. Cinda and John Whitaker, not Cindy. Cinda. Um, they moved in yesterday as well. So they moved into 20D over by Walter Frank. So welcome them. Um, got a couple new ones that are coming. Uh, 27C will be Judy Sheridan. Joanne Snar's hot here. I think they're friends of Joanne. Do you know them too, Dorothy? Or okay. Judy Sheraton, she'll move in. Uh, I've got mid-July. Do you have an update on that? Is that pretty accurate? Okay. Uh, 6A, we have Carmen Rawlings. Carmen Rawlings, she's coming in around 7-15, July 15th. And that'll be in 6A. And that's that leaves us only one villa that's vacant, which is 37A, which was Bev Taylor's unit, and they're still working on that. So I have not gotten a name for that, but uh, pretty sure Brian's probably got someone lined up for it. So, so we will be full down in the villas. How do you spell Rawlings? Rawlings. It's just like the baseball. Oh. Okay. Um, I believe she's a neighbor of Scott Buchanan. So I haven't met her yet either. We do have some, uh, I've got four, I wrote four names down that are, are fairly new residents. Because one's sitting in the back back here, Tom Mercer, I don't know if everybody knows Tom. Tom moved into uh, 8D, just wait Tom, you don't have to get up. So if you've never seen Tom before, Tom moved in, has it been what, two months now? No, I came in in January. You've been here since January? Well, I didn't actually I signed in January, didn't okay. until March. Okay, so he's been here since about March. You're running a little behind on the well supply. You know? Well, no, we've, we've been in touch. No, I, I've run him ragged. Yeah, I, I hear from him on the weekend, too, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> he has a little help. Right, so, um, but uh, 12D is uh, Lois and Larry Powers. If you were at Margaritaville, uh, they had the matching outfit in purple. Those are the people in 12D. Uh, 25D is Ed Everhart. I don't know if you've seen Ed out. I haven't seen him at any of the events. So Ed's been out too. And then 9D, I don't think Marty's here. Marty Balance is in 9D. I know she's been out and about. I did see her at happy hour last last happy hour. So um, so that's, that's all Peggy had pretty much to talk about, I think. Um, I don't have a whole lot going on this month. I got two things. We have the campus garage sale. For the villas, um, it is July 12th and 13th. That's next. It's next yeah. week, guys. So the ad will be out in the paper next week as well. Got that taken care of. I right now I've got 16 villas signed up. Um, if anybody did not sign up and you want to participate, let me know because I'm getting a map made and we're going to have those villas highlighted with a star or some corporate office is working on printing that for me. And we'll be passing that to visitors as they come in. So, so that's next week, and that's uh, the 12th and 13th, and it's from 9 to 3. There are five or six residents from Scottish Rite that will be in the bus garage. Um, so we'll have them set up first. So that's probably where we'll pass out the, the little flyers, and we'll direct them around that way. What day of the week? Friday, Saturday. Friday, Saturday. Um, then on Friday, July 26, we have our summer fling wing ding party. We'll be frying chicken wings with our new fryers, and we will not run out this year. Last year was our first trial run for that kind of event, so we're gonna we're gonna double the chicken wings this year. So there's gonna be plenty for you guys to come up several times if you like. So uh, Tim and Tom will be frying all afternoon, I think. Okay. 
Okay, so um, so we got that going, and we're, I got karaoke on here. We did karaoke at that event last year. I couldn't get it over the speakers in the camp in the clubhouse because that system wouldn't hook to it. So we had to use that big black speaker. So karaoke may be there, may not be there. I don't know. I I got some uh, experimenting to do on on the karaoke part of it. And other than that, that's all I have. Thank you, Dave. Are you the one I could ask? See, I didn't, I didn't say, does anybody have any questions? Because I knew you were going to have one anyway. So. <laughs> Go ahead. Tell me about happy hour. Do we have new abuses, or is that an old flyer up there? That's just an old flyer. Oh, okay. um, I, I did hear there, there, there's been a couple that have been getting a little too tipsy, so... Um, Why can't we just deal with them instead of punishing everybody? Well, I, that's the first I heard about it was just the other day, so I don't know any details about it. So, um, but uh, we'll look into it. Hey. Yeah. I wanted to ask about the cancellation of Happy Hour. Last Friday we showed up up here and there was nobody here. They didn't put a one call out? No, no. we didn't get a one call. I was a little busy that day, so I, and we're I, I didn't. At, I didn't. Uh, I, I wasn't on top of the happy hour thing. So. And then we're looking at the happy hour right next to the wing ding party. So what happens? Then? I'm not. We're not canceling that. They 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 canceled. They can, they didn't cancel the happy hour because of the margarita bill. Okay, it, it was a staffing issue. Okay. Okay, and that happened because I know. Yeah, they, Somebody they, checked they, with they, Nathan yeah. and he said it was on and then it was off. Yeah, they, they should have they should have sent a one call out. Yeah. Can you do that for just the villains? I can do it for anybody. I can do it for a single person. Okay. Then would you please let us know about this trash schedule thing? Because we're we're working on that. The second and the ninth. That the guy right there. Uh, put that on there. Uh, we're, it'll be corrected today. It'll be corrected. Okay, because we put our trash out this morning because right, nice. it said it's coming today. Yeah. Good practice. But this Good week practice. it'll be a day late anyway. Right? Yeah, you got July. It'll you be got Saturday. Saturday. This so week. it's probably going to be Saturday. Right. And That's, that would be what we would have guessed. Yeah, because I have the same schedule at my house as you guys do. So, so I, I'm expecting it to be Saturday. So fire okay. me. So fire me. You're not getting fired. You're just getting reprimanded. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Got a lot of errors on it. Well, if, <laughs> okay, that calendar, our regular what's happening calendar, Susan, who does that, she's a little out of commission right now. So, just got to bear with us on that calendar. Who does this? Uh, John Willie put that together. I like that calendar. There's quite a few errors that are put too bad. Okay. I like it. Alright, so we're working on it. Yeah. Is it going to stay in this format or go back to the old one when Susan's ready to come back? That depends on Susan. Okay. I hope it I hope it comes back the way Susan does it. So but uh, is she, is she moving to cutting in? I got your email and I forgot to call the house council. So oh, your text. well, then we're running it. Okay. <laughs> I, all I got to do is call them. Dave? You know Judy Gaines? Yes. She said, she knows so much. She said this morning she was going to go over and tell him about it. At least he got his best he could do with that. Yeah. You have to bear with it, baby. Yeah, we we were put behind the eight ball on that late, late right. in the month. I'm done with questions. <laughs> I don't know if this is the form for or the next meeting with Tony, but we were going the other day to come back, and the, you know the big door that uh, has the uh, furnace and the water heater behind it mm -hmm. in the village? Mm -hmm. Well, ours was open. Okay. And that indicates to me that somebody was in there. Okay. And there was no little card or anything saying maintenance there. This is the second time that that has happened. 
Do you know uh, Dave Calhoun? He's up there. You know where uh, the, the greeter sits at that front yeah. desk? Right around the corner there, that's Dave's office. Okay. We'll talk to Dave. Okay. Thank you, Philip. My, my understanding is we'll be a card if you're not home. Yes. All right. Everybody else for Dave? If you may thoroughly be with Dia, you're okay. I think we're done. <laughs> All right. We have old business. I want to talk about the fall cookout. I had an observation this past month that kind of makes sense to me. You know, I had indicated that we're going to Walter Frank, and we know that at about the 40 level, we get uh, pretty comfortable and cozy down there. And I guess, truthfully, I'm hoping we get more than that there. Uh, and an observation was made to me that, why don't we go to the clubhouse? Because whether we use Walter Frank or not, when the time comes that the money is to close it, it's probably going to close. I don't mean to be blunt, but I would say that that's probably what's going to happen. And with that kind of a thought process, because we were going to go to Walter Frank to kind of keep the usage up, but I'm hoping to have more than 40 people for a covered dish and a cookout and whatever else we can think to do that afternoon. So I guess I am asking to move that to the clubhouse. And I already have the date. I checked with David, the 21st of September. It's all going to ring around. We went Ohio State's kickoff with Marshall wins. Now, truthfully, I don't think a Marshall will be a nationally televised audience. So you can drop it on the big screen. We can drop it on the big screen. And that probably wouldn't be bad to have going on. Uh, so unless we get some objections, I think we're still going to go for a Masonic Square Residence Council cookout and cover dish. And, What's the football game and whatever? We're not going to play Bingo. I don't call it Bingo. <laughs> Any complaints or objections or observations? Because this was an observation from one of our members. Yes. Are you going to the clubhouse? Yeah, I would. I would want to. I think because that's truthfully, the best idea. truthfully, Bob, I'm going to be disappointed if we only have 40 people. If if you do have 40 people, like last year, people like Bill can't go because it's too crowded. Well, scooters, walkers, it's very uncomfortable in Walter Frank with that type of crowd. Right. But in all truthfulness, it would be for villa residents. Yeah. So, so but, but I'm saying those yes. people like to be Well, and we don't have much parking down there. People want to come down to try to park. So unless somebody go complain, I think we're going to hold, hold a reservation on September 21 and Go to the clubhouse and David will fix the TV. And if Tennessee plays that day and we get to, can get Tennessee, would you prefer to see that one? I would. Well, we vote on that, but I think you're going to lose. Right here. <laughs> Go big orange. You could put that one on the bar one. Forget put that one on the bar one. <laughs> All right, that was my observation on the on the fall cookout. And if anybody else has that, we're planning on cooking hot dogs and hamburgers and have covered dish and asking for a donation. So hopefully we'll see a big buzz there. Bylaw revision. Well, I I got through my first run on that. I, I sent it to sent it to the officers. I haven't heard anything else about them, but I wanna I wanna tell you we got we got one person in here that has read the bylaws and give us a whole nine pages of yellow marks to consider. And we will consider them. Uh, some of them are editorial, and some of them are his words are better than mine, and that's okay. We'll consider them. But I, I appreciate that because there are just, I don't know what we had, 12 or 15 that we came the first time through, and only two or three of them were real changes. The rest of them were mostly grammatical and editorial, but that's okay. Better word change, better word here, better word there. We appreciate anything we do, but this is not going to be a slow process. Uh, we never intended it to be a slow process because we once we get to a draft, we will be sending that draft out so everybody can critique just what we're changing. Um, it's not going to be done behind closed doors or 
until you never get a look at it. But we've got seven operational changes that we're considering in there that aren't going to make much difference, but they might make the process a little bit smoother. Any questions on the bylaws? Hopefully everybody has a copy back in their old records. If you want me to fire them out again, I can electronically send them, no problem. When was the last revised? 2019. Signed by a lady by the name of June Allison. <laughs> and Phil Hoff. We had a committee then. Oh, we got a committee now. Everybody. Everybody. We'll consider. Well, what prompted some of the changes? Well, one, we don't meet at 930 anymore. And that's what the well, bylaws. I don't know why we have the time in there anyway. I think that's sort of foolish. We should just say we meet the first Tuesday of the month. Write that down for a change. We'll remove the time. That's a good idea. I don't have. I don't have a problem with that. Not having the time, but it's, it specifically says 9:30. Mm -hmm. So there's there's two or three of those in there. You didn't remember you signed them in 2019? That was a long time ago. That was before COVID. And Phil was still with us, too, because he signed them also. Well, Bill Selsom headed up that committee, I think. Oh, okay. Sure. Okay. Well, we're working on it. All right, and the other thing that we have for old business is a fundraiser. We're still progressing on fundraiser. I've talked with people about making tickets and and I've called the Ohio Lottery, Pam, and uh, talked to a young lady by Katie at C-A-I-T-I-E. And yes, that is the way some people spell Katie. And uh, the, I bought a lottery ticket just to read what it says. It says you got to be 18. Uh, Other than that, it almost says nothing. But they got paid yet to pay the rules of how you cash in a winner. <laughs> so, we need money for it. Pardon? What do we need money for? You were the person that observed we didn't have any money in the bank a couple months ago. Not much money in the bank a couple months ago. We don't need much money. We aren't doing anything. I'm going to let you spend money in a little bit, okay? We, we've got a thousand dollars. Yes, we've got a thousand bucks. And we haven't done anything. All the, the party last spring, which was about six hundred dollars. Okay, any other old business? New business, I got one item. It's been six months, and historically we have sent to the foundation $100 every six months in memory of the residents who have passed away. And I guess the six months are up. It's July. Do you want to do that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Phil, motion to, to Bob, second to send a donation to the foundation in memory of the residents of the campus that have passed away, that we know of from the bereavement report. Not campus, just I'm not, I don't know who all these people are, June. If you want to sit down and go through the 60 or so and tell me who was residents, who won't, I'll be glad to take it. No, I'm just saying that it wasn't for the whole campus. It's just the swear people. It was the whole campus when we did it in January because Phil was not with us, and I knew. That's why. That's why I do not have the time or the knowledge to go through that. Well, someone needs to take that on. Now, if somebody wants to take it on, I'll supply you the list of everybody who has been on the bereavement report. I'm not well, it makes a difference. Yeah, what makes a difference? They passed away here. Yes, I make a motion that it be for all members, everybody. Well, the best information I have is what Bill puts out on the bereavement report, and that does not hinder HIPAA one iota. If there's a HIPAA case in there that the people didn't want anybody to be notified, it won't be on the bereavement report, in my mind. Sound right, David? Because that can happen. All right. Oh, it has had a motion and a second for the for the hundred dollars. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Anything else? All right. Stand is 
Jerome with us. Announcements, concerns, comments, and miscellaneous items. Anybody got anything they want to talk about? Well, we're going to be out of here quick, David. Um, yes, Mary. I'd like to suggest um, we have a excellent musician here in the square that also composes music. And I wonder if there's some kind of an event where we could have Mike uh, play some of the things he has composed. Mike. Uh, what's his last name? Uh, the, the musician. Ryan. 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 Mike Ryan. Yeah. The, I mean, that's something that we as the square could have include in an event, like maybe the September party or something. Have him play the uh, piano for us. Did you hear that he's going to have surgery in the hospital? He's very ill. He's very ill. I have not heard it. Yes. I, I would not really count on Mike for no. almost anything in the near the future. Not well right now. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? Oh, here we go. All right, well, we're about to get out of here. Uh, several months ago, a couple months ago, we had a coffee and conversation, and we had a suggestion made. And I think everybody there agreed with the suggestion. And I didn't get it done last month, and I was, I was uh, roundly uh, reprimanded, is that the word? Yeah. Reprimanded? Reprimanded for not getting it done last month. But I got her done this month, buddy. You might have taken me all last night, but I got her done. David, come on up here. Hmm? Yeah, huh? David you. We got something for you. What do you mean? Well, hang on. <laughs> on behalf of the Residence Council, there's your little gift. Oh, well, thank you. You know I'm not allowed to take gifts. Oh, yes, you are, because I asked Tony. Oh, you did. <laughs> What am I supposed to do with that? I don't know, but we appreciate you. <laughs> I, I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, and speaking of the pineapple, I do take nominees, so please let me know if uh, you know anybody that uh, um, should get a pineapple pin. So, okay, because. Uh, you, you see what you see a lot more than I do sometimes, so please let me know. Well, there were several nominees. Thank you. We appreciate your effort. I'll put that on my desk. <laughs> see how long it lasts. Yeah, all right. That's okay. Let's go over again. What the record is. What you're supposed to do to get the plan out of place. It doesn't feel hard for us. What's the word? Horse. What's the word? Horse. Yeah. I mean, it's taste. Well, it's the international symbol of friendship and hospitality. 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 Yeah. But Dave is accepting nominees for what? For his pin. Well, we can't give him a pin. We don't have no, a pin. No, he wants nominees. Yeah, for the pin. But, yes, but what's it for? It's for pins. Yes. For <laughs> you to nominate somebody that's been exceedingly nice around the campus. Hospitality. They welcome people that was, yeah, yeah, you welcome new residents or just being being a good neighbor. Okay. And he passes them out when he gets the nomination and when they attend, attend the coffee connection. Yeah, I can't pass them unless they show, so. No. I got her done. No tell you who reprimanded me for missing a lot. That's fine. Could we have a motion to adjourn, please? Need a motion? Or we'll sit here all day. <laughs> Second, here I am. Wilson, can I sorry about your sister? Would you please rise with me for benediction? Gracious Lord, we really do thank you for this day and for the privilege of living in your world and the opportunity to spend our time here at the Springfield Masonic community. We know, Lord, that as we make our way through this broken world, it is just so much.
much pain and discomfort, but it's nice to be among friends and neighbors. That's what Phil Hoffman always called us, and I guess that's really true. And now, Lord, as we're about to depart this place, we would pray that you would continue to guide our path, direct our lives, and keep us safe and sound until we meet again. Amen.